Hi, thanks for joining me today. I've got an infinite sum that I want to evaluate. It's the sum from sigma is 1 to infinity of sine of sigma x over 2 to the sigma. Now, the trick to this is we're going to be using Euler's formula or Euler's identity, which says that e to the i theta is the same as cos theta plus i sine theta. So in particular, sine of sigma x is simply the imaginary part of e to the i sigma x. So we can write this sum here as the sum from sigma is at least 1 of uh, the imaginary part of e to the i sigma x all over 2 to the sigma. So all I've done here is I've replaced sigma x, a sine of sigma x with the imaginary part of e to the i sigma x. Okay, we, we can factor this imaginary bit out. And it's the imaginary bit of the sum from sigma is 1 to infinity of e to the i sigma x over 2 to the sigma. And now this thing here, we can kind of strip out the sigma from top and bottom. And so this is the imaginary part of the sum from sigma is naught to, uh, not naught to infinity, 1 to infinity of e to the i x over 2, and then all of that to the power of sigma. Now, staring at this, we realize that this is simply a geometric series. And so we can just apply our geometric series formula, a divided by 1 minus r. And so this thing here is simply the imaginary part of a, the first term, which is e to the i x over 2, divided by 1 minus r. And 1 minus our common ratio here, that's also e to the i x over 2. And so now we simply need to take the imaginary part of this. But in order to do this, we need to clean this number up a bit, which we'll do now. Okay, so to clean this up, we'll first multiply top and bottom of this sum by 2. So it's just e to the i x over 2 minus e to the i x. And now in order to take the imaginary part of this, we need to make this in the form a plus b i. So what we need to do here is multiply the top and bottom by the conjugate of the denominator. So let's firstly write out the top. It's cos x plus i sine x, again, just using Euler's formula. And the bottom here is just 2 minus cos x and then minus i sine x using Euler's formula. And so now multiplying top and bottom by the conjugate of this, this becomes the imaginary part. So on the top, we're going to get cos x plus i sine x multiplied by the conjugate of the bottom, which is 2 minus cos x plus i sine x, like so. And on the bottom here, we're just going to get this guy squared plus sine squared x. So 2 minus cos x squared plus sine squared x, like so. And now we can just imagine we expanded the top, but just going to focus on the imaginary part. So how do I get an imaginary part? Well, I can do sine x times 2 minus cos x. So sine x times 2 minus cos x. And I can also do cos x times the i sine x. So that's just going to be plus cos x times sine x. And all of that divided by this denominator, which we can expand out here, is going to be 4 minus, sorry, 4 again, cos x. And then I'm going to get plus cos squared x plus sine squared x. So that's just plus 1. And on the top here, what do I get? Well, I get 2 sine x. Then I'm going to get a minus sine x cos x plus sine x cos x. So that simplifies quite nicely. That's just 2 sine x. And then on the bottom, I've simply got 5 minus 4 cos x, like so. And that there is the answer to this problem. So when you do the sum from sigma is 1 to infinity of sine of sigma x over 2 to the sigma, you get 2 sine of x divided by 5 minus 4 cos x. I hope you have enjoyed this video. A nice little problem here. I quite enjoyed this one. Um, a nice little trick as well, a nice little application of Euler's formula. If you're new to, the, uh, new to the channel, please do give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. That's all for today. I'll catch you in the next one. Have a great day.